We welcome you to Phillip Island in Victoria, Australia. Today, the V8 supercars here at GBR will go head-to-head -head for 27 laps of exciting racing. Let's take a look at our starting grid. Seahawks 1 fan set the pole with a 135.7. Brent right behind him with a 135.9. So we take a look at the rest of our starting lineup. Kelly G will start eight today after his first win last race over at Mills Metro Park. And current points leader Stinky had some trouble in qualifying. He'll start today at 11th. Phillip Island is a 2.8 mile course. All cars will be on control tires today. Phantomus will start 17th. He had some engine problems earlier. And we'll start towards the back of the pack. It's time to go racing. Here we go. Somebody may have got a false start at the back there. Ch check and see who that was. And the cars go barreling down into turn one, side by side. Look at this tight group of cars, three wide, four wide. Going around turn two, up over a slight hill and back down. And this is Helios and Fatamos side by side. And looks like somebody's out. I think that was F1. We'll have to go back and check. And come around the hairpin, turn four. It's called Honda's Corner. Fantamos and Helio still side by side. And a couple cars go wide. And a little bump there. Helios goes off the track, spins around, almost takes out Stinky. Have a few flat spots on his tires. Luckily, he didn't take out the back half of the field there. And Seahawks in the lead, followed by Brent and Boza right behind. And we have another car off, two cars it is. That's uh, Don. Not sure who the other one was. We'll go back and check replays in just a few moments. A lot of action on the first lap here. That's old slow Fred got off the track a little bit. Again, they're using the intermediate tires very, very slick out here today. All right, we're going to go back and check the replays here. This is F1, who we saw just the tail end of his crash. And... Yeah, he got into the back of Brent. Hits the wall a little bit. Didn't look like there was much damage done. He got real lucky there. He dropped only a couple of spots. And this is on board with Stinky. He got hit from the left side, bumped off the track a bit. And there you can see Helios and Fatamos. And wow. I think he just about took out the side of Helios there. And this was Don's accident earlier. And that's Tony right in front of him. And come around the corner. Looks like Don got into the back of Tony just a little bit, just enough to get his back end loose. <laughs> and Tony takes out the corner markers. I'm sure the other drivers will greatly appreciate that. Back to live action here. Current leaders, Seahawks, Brent, and Boza still neck and neck here. Put a little bit of space between them and the rest of the group. And that's Phanimus, which I apologize, I've been pronouncing his name incorrectly. But he started today in 17th position. He's already moved up seven spots. He's currently in 10th in just about a lap and a half. And that's Don. He gets loose again. And Sid as well. Having a heck of a time going through that turn four hairpin. And back up to the front. 
front of the pack here. Brent's closing in a bit on Seahawk. He's got the gap down to about two tenths. Going up through Lukey Heights. Brent's going to make a move to the inside through the corner and Seahawk slams the door on him there. And coming through turn 12, this is a great spot. If you can get this corner right, you got the long straight, Gardner straight. And that may be exactly what Brent's trying to set Seahawk up for. So you can get some draft here and close in going into turn one. here and Seahawk locks up the right rear that's going to give Brent a chance Seahawk's got the inside corner going into turn two door to door and Seahawk survives that corner I thought for sure that Brent would have pulled up into the lead there but Seahawk did a good job holding his line he may get another chance here and while this action's been going on up front, that's given Boza a chance, and he's gonna contend for second. Gets a little wiggle on the back there. Right on the bumper. And another wiggle, and that's gonna allow Brent to pull ahead just a bit. Great action up front today. Very competitive. And Fenimus, again, he continues to work his way through the field here. Side by side with White Wolf. He'll pick off another one. This is a 27 lap race and he's already moved up several spots. And that's Kelly goes wide. <laughs> As I speak here, Fenimus is already up to seventh. Unbelievable job today, weaving through the pack. Lap seven, the top three, nobody's given an inch here. F1, and that's Tony, Tony goes, hits a curb. I'm not sure what happened there. He went airborne. He was in fifth, right behind F1, and he'll rejoin in ninth. There, there must have been something on the curb there. He literally went airborne. Here's a, here's a slow mo replay. I don't know what he hit, but it sent him up in the air about five feet and off the track. He's on board with Phantomus. White Wolf managed to get back around and Venomous made a mistake uh, about a lap ago. Went wide and White Wolf was able to get back around him. But he's back on the attack here. And here's the draft. Slingshots around him. Nice move. That will put him up into fifth. Watching Wolf try to stay up on his bumper here. Some really incredible camera shots that we have for you today. Really fun to watch. And it's a battle for ninth between Jarhead and Kelly. They've been going back, uh, neck and neck here for the last couple laps. And there's another chance for the slingshot here on Gardner Strait. Thinks about it, tucks back in behind, gives another chance. Jarhead, Jarhead led him through there. He knew that if he took too much speed in there, he'd be off the track. That seems to be the most popular spot today for passing. And the 
this is Zed. It's further back in the pack here. Uh, Dawn's right behind him. This is a battle for 12. And Zed gives him a little nudge there. <laughs> door to door. Through turn three. Now they're going to be coming up on the hairpin. Gotta be careful of your speed through here. And... Oh, we thought he made it through, but... Does a 360. Oh, the back end hits the wall. He's gonna have some damage to the back end there. Good battle there. And we're halfway through the race. And as you can see, Seahawks pulled up, pulled out a little bit of a lead over Brent, but not by much. And Boza's dropped back a little bit. Those were a couple lap cars in, in front of Boza there, but Boza's currently still in third. And Phantomus has moved up to third. He's come up on Boza. On board with Phantomus. Over the hill of Lukey Heights. Turn 10 hairpin. Real tight corner. Nice job by both drivers here. Almost gets in the back of Boza. Boza decides to pit, which we're going to start seeing a lot of these cars pitting. Oh, looks like our leader Seahawks is in the pits as well. That's going to put Phantomus in the lead, but he has not pit yet. And what happened there? He missed pit road entrance, had to go through the dirt. That's going to cost him some valuable time. It is a tricky pit road entrance there. It comes up on you really quickly. But you got to be careful of your speed. Speed limit through the pits is 50 miles per hour. That's going to put Tony in the lead. He has not pit yet. And Seahawk is right behind him. Goes off the track a little bit there, but does reclaim the lead. Tony's tires have to be shot. I would fully expect to see him pit here in the next lap or two. But that'll put Seahawk back up front. And this is said, he's had a nice race so far today. Coming through. Front, front stretch, gets in the back of Timber. Whoa! A couple cars were coming out from Pit Road there, and Timber just pulled right out in front of him. It looked like Seth was trying to go around him. I don't think either driver knew where the other was going. Miscommunication there, and definitely going to have some damage to the front of Seth's car. That's unfortunate. All right, we're coming down the home stretch of the race here. Just three laps to go. Seahawks in the lead, followed by Brent. And Phantomus is now comfortably in third and has his eye on Brent. Bo and Boza is in fourth and F1 fifth. And Brent goes wide through turn one. Phantomus coming up right behind him. It looked like Brent took a little too much speed in there. And tire wear has definitely become a factor with just a couple laps to go. Phantomus smells blood. He's going to make the dive to the inside through the hairpin. And he will move into second. 
from 17th to second place with just a lap and a half to go. Wow. And Seahawks, the defending GBR champion, will get his first victory of the season. He's got to be very happy about that. That will help him in the point standings tremendously. Newcomer Fanimus, once again, great job all the way up to second place. Brent will take third. Boza, fourth. F1, fifth. Kelly will take sixth. And that actually may move Kelly up into the points lead. Jarhead, seventh. Tony in eighth. Stinky in ninth. And White Wolf will take home 10. Your race five winner here at Phillip Island, Seahawks one fan. Let's take a look at today's results. And here are the standings. After five races, I stand corrected, Boza has moved into the points lead. Kelly G's in second, and Stinky falls to third. Uh, Seahawks actually moved up from ninth in the standings all the way up to fifth. The top six spots in the standings are separated by only 42 points. In two weeks, the V8s travel to the land of the rising sun, Fuji Speedway. We'll see you then.